Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before I get started in today's video, I just want to quickly apologize. I'm very, very sick, so I'm super congested, if you guys couldn't tell, and my eyes are watering nonstop. So if I look like I'm crying, I promise I'm not. My eyes are just watering. So um, while I was laying around and resting this morning, the UPS truck actually came and they delivered the brand new Urban Decay Cherry Collection. So I have the whole collection in front of me. There's some eyeliners, lip products, blushes, setting spray, and then the star of this whole entire collection of course is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Eyeshadow Palette. It is so beautiful inside and I don't know about you guys but I feel like all the Naked palettes just give me like throwback vibes so for them to keep coming out with new ones is like I don't know I just love it. It's so sentimental to me because I just I've always loved Urban Decay and they were like the first brand I ever bought so for me to even like get PR from them is like so heartwarming to me and so amazing so thank you so much Urban Decay for sending that over. Definitely made this whole being sick thing 10 times better so without further ado if you guys are interested on seeing the brand new Urban Decay cherry collection and what I create then let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> We're off to a really good start. Okay. I went ahead and just threw my hair up because I want it out of the way, but inside of this Naked palette comes a brush just like there always is, but I haven't gotten a Naked palette since the one or two, so I don't know if the Naked Heat or the Naked 3 or the Naked Smoky came with this brush, but the brush that came inside of this one just looks like that on one side. It's really small and detailed, and then this one is big and fluffy, so I don't remember that coming on one and two, so I think that might be a little different. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that. Um, it does feel like a really good brush, so we're going to try it out today as well. Now, the first shade I'm taking is Hot Spot, which is a matte cream shade. I'm going to take that all over my lid, and I'm just going to use the fluffiest side of the brush and just kind of pat that all over my lid just to give it like a nice even base before I go in with any actual colors. The thing that I'm already liking just looking at this eyeshadow palette is there are a lot more mattes than like the Naked 1 and 2 because that was my biggest complaint. I think the Naked 1 only had like one or two matte shades whereas this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matte shades which is absolutely amazing. So you have like the lightest one right here and the darkest matte right here which is really really good. This first shade is really creamy and really pigmented as just an all over matte white shade. I'm going to try and use as many of these shades as I can but for the transition shade the first one I'm going to take is Caution which is this second matte shade right here. And I'm going to use that same fluffy side of the brush and take that into my transition area. Something so real, something so real. I want so I feel like this caution shade might be too close to my natural skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and just move on to the next matte shade, which is this one called Feels. It's just a really pretty like rosy. I feel like it's almost the color of my sweater. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and move on to that one since caution isn't really doing much. And I'm going to take that into my transition area. Okay, yeah, that one's definitely showing up. Ooh, that is beautiful. This shade is definitely very pigmented. This is my second time dipping in, and you can definitely build it up, as you guys can see. It's pretty pink, so I really, really like that shade. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. I just wanted to show you guys, this is the amount of fallout. It's really not a lot right there on the pan, and there's none on my face right here. So, so far, so good. Now, the next shade I'm taking is like a warmer peach, peachy, <laughs> peachy pink color, which is juicy right here, right underneath that feels color. And I'm just going to try it out. I'm just packing that right on top of the shade it feels that we put down for the transition area. I'm not really expecting it to do much. I'm just kind of seeing more how it layers on top of each other. I like the same level of lightness, so I feel like Feels is just cool toned, and this one's just more peachy, warm toned, so um, I'm not expecting it to go any darker. I think it's definitely just warming up the look a tad bit, but not anything crazy. I can definitely tell they're, you know, layering on top of each other nicely. I don't think one's getting patchier or anything like that. I think it's definitely layering on there beautifully. Moving up to the next matte, I'm going to take Bing, which is this, like, deep purplish berry color. Oh, 
although that Bing shade is blending out really nicely and it is a very pretty color, I feel like it's not as deep of a berry shade as what I see right here in the pan, transferring it to my eye right here. So I don't really think it's as deep, but it is a very pretty color and it's blending out beautifully nonetheless. So I'm not mad at it. I just don't think it's as deep as what I see in the pan. Um, and then I do see just a little bit more fallout on my face down here. I'm not sure if you guys can tell or if the camera's picking it up, but so far it's still pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and brush that fallout off of my face. The next matte shade is Devilish, which is a little bit deeper and a little bit redder than Bing. So I'm going to take that on the smaller side of this brush and I'm going to work that onto my outer corner and my crease as well. I feel like the small end of this brush is a little too stiff and it's not packing it on evenly or nicely at all. So I'm going to take this smaller brush, which is from Morphe. It's the M506. So I'm going to take that devilish shade because I feel like this one is a lot more fluffy, but it's still small. So I can still get that precision, but I definitely think that the other one is just a little too like compact and too hard. So I'm going to use that to pack it on. So that Devilish shade is definitely packing on really, really nicely. There's not a lot of fallout with that shade, but I definitely, again, don't think it's as deep as what the pan shade is because that's a very, very deep shade. And I feel like this isn't that much deeper than this side right here. So I'm now going to take the shade Privacy and do the exact same thing. And I am going to take that Privacy shade on that same Morphe M506 brush and really try to deepen it up. Now I can definitely see that I'm getting a lot more depth with that privacy shade with this whole entire look. So um, what I'm going to do is quickly just blend out that line right there that I have. So like I said, I want to soften up right there on the crease to give it more of like a gradient feel. So I'm going to take the shade Feels right here. By the way, this nail is broken. When I tried to get this out of the box, it was incredibly hard. So um, it did break my nail, unfortunately, but we're just going to have to keep going. And I'm taking that feels shade with that same brush that came inside of the palette and just kind of going over it. So next I'm going to take any concealer. Today I'm choosing the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I'm just putting a little bit on the back of my hand right there. And then I'm going to take a little small concealer brush just so I can get in my inner corner really nicely. Um, and take a little bit on that brush and just carve out that inner corner just to do like a half cut crease. Someone like you, I want you to know me, cause I know then you'll see. So now that I took like 8,000 years to carve out that inner corner, I'm gonna take the shade Bang Bang, which is this really, really pretty pink kind of shimmer shade. So I'm gonna take that shade right there in the inner corner where we carved it out. I could just stop here because that inner corner shade is absolutely stunning and I love this look so far, but I did tell you guys that I was going to try as many shades inside of this palette. So I'm going to use the Young Love shade right here and I'm going to take that actually on the small end of this brush and see how it performs with that. And I'm going to put that right in the middle of the outer corner and the inner corner. Yep, that's beautiful. I absolutely love that Young Love color. I'm just going to slightly kind of Diffuse that by like brushing it up against the inner corner. Perfect. Perfect. I love that chain. I have quite a bit of fallout, but it's not really an issue as long as you have like a big fluffy brush to kind of sweep it away as you go. Wow. Wow, I love that. I want to go ahead and finish up my eyes before I go on to try anything else. So I'm going to quickly put these lashes on off camera. These are the Ardell Demi Wispy. So I'm going to put them on and then we can move on to the lower lashes. I finished putting on my lashes and I actually found my Urban Decay Heavy Metals liner. And I think it would be really pretty to do that right here on the inner corner just to give it a little bit of a pop since this palette doesn't have like a inner corner highlight shade or brow bone highlight. So I'm going to take this glitter. It's the shade Midnight Cowboy, which is my favorite glitter liner ever. 
and I'm just gonna take a little bit right here and just kind of spice up the look a little bit more I was gonna do it right here like above my crease but then I remembered that the back talk palette tutorial that I did with Urban Decay was very similar it's not exactly the same as this but it's obviously the same tones I just like this palette a whole lot more um, but I did want to add just like a little pop of something so just adding a little bit of that glitter right there so now I'm gonna do the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the shade Feels right here and I'm gonna take it with a flat kind of brush like that. And this is from Alamar Cosmetics. It's their little brush set that came together. So I'm just gonna take that and kind of smoke out the lower lashes just to kind of tie the whole look together. Now I'm just going to dip into Devilish right up here with that same brush and really take it close up to the lashes. So this collection actually came with two new pencils and this is their 27 Glide On Eye Pencil, which is my favorite eyeliner. Um, this one's in the shade Black Market and then this one's in the shade Love Drug. So I'm gonna swatch them both on the back of my hand to see, oh gosh, I'm gonna break another nail, I swear. All right, so I think Black Market is like, I don't know if it's black or if it's like a smoky dark gray color, but that's what it looks like. And then, the other one, which is Love Drug. Ooh, that one's really, really pretty. That's like a really pretty deep berry color. So I think I'm gonna do the deep berry shade, of course, um, and just put that right there. Wow, I love that color. These eye pencils are like some of my favorite eye pencils ever that I've ever tried because they last so long and they're so pigmented. I use them all the time. That's gorgeous, I love that. So I've completed the eye look and the next item in this collection is the Naked Urban Decay Cherry Highlight and Blush Palette which is so beautiful when you open it up. It has like two different highlights. I probably won't use, ooh, actually that one would have been really pretty on the inner corner. Okay, I might try that even though we've already done something on the inner corner. I'm gonna try that real quick because I feel like that color would be really pretty. Yep, even though I have glitter, it still looks good. Cool, so I'm gonna take this middle shade right here which is obviously the blush inside of this palette I really actually love that blush shade. I turned down the light so that way you guys could see exactly what it looks like, but I feel like that's a perfect fall shade. It's really, really pretty. You guys can see the difference right here. So I'm gonna take a little bit on this cheek and now I'm gonna take the highlight, which could either be this one or this one. This one's more like a holographic highlight color, but I'm gonna take this one right here for my cheeks. Wow, stunning again, Urban Decay. Wow, wow, I mean, wow. I mean, I, I, I don't even have words, that's, wow. Oh, Urban Decay, you just, you kill me every time. This is, this is so good. So with this collection, there's three lip shades and it's the Vice lipsticks, which are some of my favorite lipstick formulas ever. This is in the shade Devilish, which is a like a metallic pink. There's the shade Cherry, which is like a deep, deep color. Um, and the shade Juicy. So I'm gonna kind of open them up. I'm not sure if I want to try them or not because if I don't like the shades personally, oh my God, so cute. But if I don't like the shades personally, I always just give them away. But that's what this one looks like. It's like a metallic color, which I'm not really a fan of metallic lipsticks personally. I don't like swatching things if I'm not realistically going to use it on a daily basis just because I do either donate my makeup or use them for giveaways. So, um, you know, why, why just use it for a swatch if I'm not actually going to use it. Um, and this shade is called Cherry. Wow. I'm scared to use that, but I kind of want to. That's really pretty, but I'm really scared to use that. And then the next shade is Devilish, which is also another metallic lipstick which is that, and that's really, really pretty, but like I said, I'm not a metallic type of person at all. Man, this is a really, really hard decision, because once I go in with cherry, 
there's not really going back. <sighs> this is another one of their Vice lipsticks, and this is in the shade Naked, which is one of my favorite nude colors. So I think I might do that and then like ombre it in the middle with Naked. I think I'm gonna try it. All right, so that's Cherry by itself. Color Cherry is very, very pigmented, um, which is a good thing if you really like the color. I'm so not used to like super dark lipstick, so I don't know how I feel about this. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Cherry Scented Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. If you guys have never tried their makeup setting spray, it will seriously make your makeup last all day long. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on my face. So I actually ended up going in with a clean tissue and wiping off right there in the middle of that cherry shade and then put even more of that naked shade just to brighten it up a little bit more because I feel like dark lipstick looks a tad bit scary on me. So I wanted to lighten it up a little bit more, but I wanted to explain why I did. So now this is the finished look of what I came up with using the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Collection. What do you guys think of this? I absolutely love how like fall and just deep it is. These purple tones and these deep plum tones are just absolutely stunning and my opinion. I love the formula of this palette too. I know sometimes the um, naked palettes can be a little bit iffy on the formula, but I think this one is definitely one of the better ones. I absolutely love the mattes inside of here and the shimmers inside of here are absolutely stunning as well. So I definitely think if you guys are looking for a lot of like berry tones this winter or this fall, I think this is the palette for you guys. I love the blush and the highlight inside of this palette as well this face palette is definitely going to be a staple for me from now on because this blush is stunning and this highlight is absolutely amazing as well the lipsticks unfortunately aren't really my vibe because i just don't like metallics and then the cherry one was very deep so i think with the naked color it's very beautiful but if you guys are into deep lipsticks this one is definitely for you the eyeliners absolutely stunning love those Definitely love the way that this smells. It's so, so good. And I love the all-nighter setting spray in general. So this is definitely a must for me just because the cherry scent is amazing as well. So let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys want to see any more like wearable looks because I feel like this one's just very like dramatic and very bold. So let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video, especially bearing with me through all of this cold and nastiness. So I hope to see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.